Oh, there you go. There's the Huffman. Oh, f- I look like shit. Wherever you are, whatever time it is, it's time now for <laughs> window shopping with car and driver. Here's your host, the editor in chief, my close personal friend, Tony Caroga. Welcome to Window Shop with Car and Driver. This is the weekly show where car and driver editors, staffers, friends, and contributors gather to look at cars that are for sale online based on a challenge. This week's challenge comes to us from a viewer again, um, Josh Jagerman. Sorry if I'm butchering your last name. Jager. Yeah, he's a real estate agent and he's been asking in the comments repeatedly for months now. Um, for us to look for a car for a real estate agent. What would be the perfect car, in our opinion, for a real estate agent? So I set the budget at $45,000 and we went searching. Uh, We're joined this week by Car and Driver's favorite contributor, Mr. Jonathan Ramsey, senior editor, Mr. Joey Caparella, uh, lone road and track editor, senior editor, Mr. uh, John Perley Huffman, and executive editor, Mr. Casey Colwell. Hurley, since you're so prepared for this today. Yeah, this is you give it, you wanna you wanna give it a you wanna give it a shot? Yeah, I'm gonna give it a shot. Uh, <laughs> first of all, uh, I, I prefer everybody to my brilliant piece here on rodentrack.com about the W116, <laughs> which is the car that made Mercedes Mercedes. And I think it's a really good story. And I think everybody You mean wait, Mercedes wasn't Mercedes before this car? Is that what yeah, you said? Yeah, the Gullwing? What's the Gullwing? Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean no, the, in, the, the, that's in the United States. The Adnauer? Sorry, you guys. Episode. I'll make I'll make the case that the W116 is the car that established Mercedes as a luxury brand, a, re- a mainstream luxury brand in the United States. Is this car? <laughs> this car was marketed brilliantly, sold like mad, and showed up every place in Mercedes. In fact, you know, it's to the point in time where like Ford would have ads for the Granada, where they would talk about how it was a, a copy of the Mercedes. This is the car that took Mercedes from being like in a backwater second second uh, second uh, brand in a, in a dealership to having these block long dealerships that they have now. It's based Pearly? on this car. Pearly. Yeah. Wasn't the Granada comparison against the W one twenty three, not the one sixteen? No, it's a one sixteen. Oh, is it? Okay. You want you want to see the ad? And I mean, that's what you want. You want a Granada hanging on like a tick. <laughs> More EVO on your 1978 brand new. The Ford Granada, the ESS. Can you tell it from this impressive twenty thousand dollar? Oh, oh yeah, the twenty thousand dollar Mercedes. Granada. That's right. That's right. Mercedes. That was a lot of money back then, Pearly. Mercedes. Granada. What, what is Mercedes. it saying is similar the new between? Ford Granada. Oh, they both have Colors. interiors and exteriors. They're blue. <laughs> Headlights. <laughs> Four tires. I don't, I'm not Granada. seeing it. Sorry, Ford. Well, America needs a better idea. <laughs> There's different times. Yeah. Fair amount. <laughs> that, that Ford commercial needs a lot more Hugh Downs if I'm buying. <laughs> yeah, it does. A lot Here's more Lima, Ohio. Why is this, for, is why is this for a real estate agent? <laughs> this, this, this is because for a real estate agent. This guy's Tony? obviously selling real estate, not in Santa Barbara. But... Uh, this, you know, this is like this car's only got uh, only has uh, 58,000 miles. Oh, wait, on that it. guy, hold on. That that agent is selling a trap house, <laughs> is what is what he's selling. A what no, I, mean, I mean, you have to you kind of have to look, you have to look. This, this car's in Arizona, so it's got heavily tinted windows and it's got the- definitely a trap house or a meth house. A tra- you don't know what a trap house is, Tony? No, it's a you? trap house. Oh, that's where uh, certain members of society uh, make and sell drugs. Oh, I see. I don't know if you're oh, on the wire. You you obviously have an experience of life far different than mine. Are you saying that because of the chrome wheels? I, I, I think, you know, I look, I mean, the, everything that's in this, every, everything that is different with this car could be easily undone, and it's only $21,000. No, Joey, I think it's because of the white walls. I think, well, I mean, the, the black tinted windows, me. Uh, the, the fog the lights. The tint is a little strong. No, it's it's Arizona. head-on every, shot of the fog lights. Every, everybody, everybody just... Tints the crap out of their windows in Arizona. That's go back, go back to that. Go back. Wait, wait, I want to see. I think one of the fog lights. I don't think they're centered. The paint looks really glossy and nice, Pearly. Yeah, it looks one nice. More shot, one more. Oh one yeah. More. One yeah. More. I, or maybe they're me. they're angled with the because the bumper well, angles. Not, not, not only do you have the ambers up here, you also have ambers down here. So, you know, I, it's, it's <laughs> that's for, when you're down by the border. Yeah. This is this is you know obviously there's nothing on this car that isn't fundamentally sound. It just needs to be undone. Pearly, can you go back to the headlight shot, please? Okay. Let's see if you can see it. There's venting. You see the like little sub bumpers that are under the headlights? 
Yeah. Um, on one side, I can't remember if it's the left or right, but the battery sits there and there's little cooling vents under the headlight that blow through so that you can vent that the battery's vented properly. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's really cool. It's a little cool piece of... Uh, have you ever driven one of these cars, Tony? What's that? Have you ever driven one of these cars? Your dad I have. One of these? I have. They're really solid. They're beautifully made. The doors like close beautifully. They're, the interiors are nice. Yeah. I mean, it's like, it's a terrific car. I'm not yeah. sure why a real estate agent would be driving it in 2022, but... Well, um, you know, the thing is, is that... It depends know, like, on what he's selling. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Well, I'm, I'm try, I tried to come up. I tried to come up with something that was going to be uh, interesting to drive that would be different, and this is something different that somebody could drive and sell, sell real estate out of, and have you know it's it's like oh look a classic Mercedes, which is what this is. It's affordable. And do you and, think uh, buyers? I mean, the air conditioning on these isn't great. Uh, do you think? Do you think home buyers are going to want to sit in a real estate agent's car that's this old, that's over forty years old? No. I don't it depends. I, I don't, you know, my, my mom is a real estate agent. My, my brother's been a real estate agent. What and, do they drive? Uh, well, my mom sold real estate out of a 1969 Fiat 124 sport coupe for a while. When was this? <laughs> in the, in the early, in the uh, early eighties, <laughs> late seventies, 19 early. And then she sold, then, then she used a, the, I mean, then she used, she, I mean, it doesn't matter. The car is only incidental. She ended up, no, uh, you know, she ended up all the, and all the real estate agents watching this are the, going. Well, the, best, the, the best car my mom had for selling real estate in was a first generation uh, Mazda 929 with a five speed manual. Oh, the it was like a JDM car almost. Yeah, it was really yeah. cool. But I mean, the 929 was, was a nice car. Yeah, yeah that was, a, a that, that was, that was probably, I couldn't find, you know, I couldn't find a 929 after a long, long search. So. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's got a new exhaust on it. It's got some yeah. tiger paws. Yeah. It's a cool so, car. I'm just I'm worried about you know the buyers when they start. I mean, look, if, if he were if if Pearly were in uh Hamburg or um Bonn, Berlin, this would be I I could see this being his real estate. Well, you can, or, or wait, wait, what's the place with all the chicken? Oh, uh Popeyes. No <laughs> Popeyes. <laughs> Um, it's up near Saginaw. Oh, Frankenmuth. Frankenmuth. Yeah, if you were, if you were, if you were Defin selling a property in Frankenmuth, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, no, go back, go back. If I were to play, it's called Frankenmuth. I could see my real estate agent pulling go back up one there. more, one more. There, Frankenmuth. Yep, oh those are God. not centered on there. That would make me crazy. Lost <laughs> okay. the sale. <laughs> Look at that. I, I take just like that. I take I take those lights off immediately. I I try and take the tint off the windows. I'd be selling I'd be selling real estate in Santa Barbara. In Santa Barbara, you could use this car to sell real estate, and people would be very impressed. Well, sure, but I mean the average yeah, is it's seventy of, and sunny every day. I gotta and tell that. you, really, I gotta tell you, I think you're right. It's a nice conversation starter. It's absolutely it really is. conversation starter. And it's very so, comfortable. Well, no, it's, only it's only in from... certain parts of the country for people buying certain property, a nice conversation yes. starter. Well, the, yes. but, but, let me put it this way. The, the least the least expensive property in Santa Barbara is a million dollars. Exactly, okay. which you probably can't sell in that car. Yes, you unless can. Unless they already know you, you also. And and Tony also knows this, that Santa Barbara is probably one of the most heavily dense <laughs> classic car areas in the entire world. Okay, Pearly, I have a question. When you yeah. pull up on this million dollar house and its driveway, and you drip oil all over it, <laughs> what are you going to tell them? In well, your million dollar house, thousand dollar bends. Yeah, <laughs> million dollar house in Santa Barbara is a hovel. So, all right, well, you're selling a two million dollar house. <laughs> That's what I want yeah. you to tell your clients that as well. I mean, <laughs> you're, you're buying, <laughs> I mean, you're buying this POS. Dude, dude, uh, but the think? house, the, the house I own is a one point five million dollar house here. Oh, so, humble brag. Uh -oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a humble brag. It's just, it's just the truth. Okay, thank you, Pearly. Okay, I, I know they're I like, care. I want a job with road and track now. <laughs> this is <laughs> what. Well, you, what what you, have to do is you, have, you have to buy it in 1997 when it was $250,000. All right, Mr. Kaffer, put, really put your phone away. No, I've got to look up something that people were trying to get me. I'm, have to, okay, there. I'm done. <laughs> Just, devote back, right. time. Just devote your time to this for now. Right. Okay, uh, Mr. Caffarella. So I picked my car based on a very certain memory that I have, which is when my family, when I was a kid, when we were buying a house, the real estate agent had a Land Rover Freelander. <laughs> 
And I had never been in a Land Rover before and I thought it'd be so cool. And I remember thinking, you know, oh, this real estate agent is so fancy. He has a Land Rover. And then all, so there's four of us in my family and we got in the Freelander with this real estate agent. And I kind of looked around. I was like, this car sucks. <laughs> Wait, so you're pulling like up to this and like the, the Tercel all wheel drive thing. Is that like what era? Well, we had... I think we had a Corolla station wagon at that point. <laughs> no, no, we, we had a, no, we had a minivan. We had a Sienna. Never mind. Didn't, didn't the Freelander have like Honda gauges or some sort of like I can't remember. I thought it was. I don't know. Well, well, I, I didn't feel like we're going to find out soon. Was, was, <laughs> anyway, was, I feel like real estate agents get the fanciest brand they can afford, but that means that they get like the crappiest car from a like. Have you watched Selling Sunset? There's these real estate agents in LA and they all have like a base Macan or like a base <laughs> CLA. Yeah. So anyway, I found... Oh, suddenly you're hating on base cars, Joey? <laughs> well, base cars from luxury brands, I think are questionable. So I found a Land Rover oh LR2. <laughs> oh, wow. I can't believe they made it until 2011. They made it until 2015. Oh my God. And... What what's the what's the agent gonna drive when this is in the shop? <laughs> well, that's their problem. <laughs> the loner, the loner car, which is probably like a defender. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Uh, oh so I think that like this is the perfect example of like so hold on the hold second on. generation you, of you the free chose life. this after your first experience in one was Misery. this is pretty well, but well they bought the fair. house. They obviously they bought the house. They did buy the house. <laughs> But no, Joey didn't second... buy the house. His well, parents I didn't, didn't have, even I didn't up have to Joey. Much choice in the matter. <laughs> oh my God. I'm guessing... but anyway, this is the second generation Freelander. <laughs> and it had a bunch of like, it was basically the Ford Focus platform. <laughs> and it had a Volvo. So later on. Wait, what tires like... are those? What? What tires? I don't Two. know if it's that important. Boyo. Yeah, that's a Toyo. Okay. No, yeah, it's okay. Okay. Um, so th it had at this point it had a Volvo 3.2 liter inline six. Really? And oh, that's later, a pretty cool engine. Yeah. So originally when the LR2 came out, it had the Volvo engine. Later they put in like a Ford EcoBoost Turbo Four. Yeah. But so I wanted to see alternator driven off of like the middle of the crank. I don't know. Didn't it? they have? Didn't Volvo have that engine? Yeah, this is the one. This is one of the rare transverse applications. For yeah. Six. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think the the alternator is is because it's so obviously so long. Right. Uh, the alternator is driven off of a, a mechanical assembly, uh, like off of the center of the crank. Oh, uh, I can't remember. I don't remember. Well, that'd be, they, they did that, the, that was that Suzuki. Remember that Suzuki sedan that had the uh, straight six in it too. Oh, the Verona. The yeah. Verona. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, so it was a 230 horsepower, six-speed automatic. Um, the interior is... Joey, crazy. do you think Land Rover kept building these until 2015 because the dealers needed loaner cars? <laughs> <laughs> Cheap lease deals. Uh, the interior is pretty bad, but I I wish it had more buttons. So many buttons. <laughs> I mean, that was it was the era of buttons, though. Yeah, so, you want yeah. buttons and knobs? I, I, I got to tell you, I miss buttons. This is... Okay, no, I, but you don't miss that many buttons. Well, I mean, that's I don't have many. to use all those buttons all the time. But then, then why do you need them all there? Like it's that's... mostly presets. <laughs> They're not. Most are mostly presets. Sure, they are. Look, they are. there are a lot of presets in there. No, that that was for the the no. The, there's a phone pad in the center okay, of the nine. Thing. You know, exactly. Think, oh those right, are... but those are presets too, presumably. Yeah, but I think there's for there's the also there's presets there, but it's also like there's enough buttons, so there's always something to go wrong. <laughs> that you so couldn't find one more thing that can break. Yeah, unless it was your car it's you know it's not going to happen on a 116 <laughs> yeah but i just feel exactly. like this is exactly or, what or a is. granada <laughs> a real estate agent says i need a land rover to impress my clients they go to the land rover dealership they get the thing with the cheapest lease deal and it's this oh my wait, wait, oh wow that's the okay i've never heard that rationale but okay I remember, you, you so don't think they had, want to even like a range rover sport it's too, too expensive. expensive. Two two things here. Um, I knew someone who had one of these, and they didn't know that the transmission had a sport mode after owning it for like five years, which was pretty entertaining. <laughs> I'm uh, sure it doesn't do anything. Oh, it does. <laughs> uh, but the other oh, let's thing find is, the button. Oh yeah, and, yeah you know, as you shift the the shifter goes over to the left, mm -hmm. and he was like, "Oh, I had no idea." And it's like, hmm. "Oh yeah, M and M and sport mode, yeah." Manual. But the horn is those two vertical yeah. bars. 
I remember the first time we had a, a long term. It must have been an LR three. Oh yeah. And I got cut off, and I'm not, I'm not a big horn user, but I needed to lay the horn. I needed to lay it on somebody. <laughs> And I just went right for the airbag, and then I got mm. all upset because I didn't get to honk. <laughs> those buttons, yeah, that's not the best solution. It's a lot. But, of I mean, there were a lot of. I mean, who had them on the stock? Even like in the late early two thousands, someone had. Someone was still using. Well, those. Honda used to have two buttons. But yeah, Honda had small. buttons. Well, I mean, these are like yeah. weird shaped buttons. They're weird, weird shaped, and I swear, I think even on the. I mean, I'll probably go back and after this is over, look at photos of our long term. I don't think the little horn. Um, the logo. And the logo was uh, the pictogram was was. Um, uh, yeah. So how are you like supposed that. to know? I know. No, it took, I was like looking at the wheel. I was I was literally like sitting there looking at the wheel, going, "How do I honk the horn?" <laughs> you got you got in another accident horn. while you were yeah. trying to find. It. <laughs> is, is, it, is it was it a hundred one degrees out when they when they photographed that? Yes, so <laughs> yeah, this is in. Uh, wow. Where is this? Wow. Is that, yeah. Is that is that not in Phoenix next to uh? Near Pearly's 116. In Florida. Oh, no wonder. Yeah. That I'm sure sense. this was owned by a real estate agent in Florida. I just sure. have a feeling this was with the only... Carfax. Can we see the Carfax? <laughs> one owner. It's one owner car? Yeah. yeah. 10, 10 years, years, how many miles did they put on it? 83,000. 80. This feels like a state sale. Oh, okay. Wait. Oh, they bought it in Connecticut, I see. Oh, look at how much it went to the dealer. Never. <laughs> yeah. oh, no, no, that's that's oil. oil oh, this stuff. is all before this. Is, wait, they they retired. They retired to Florida, died, and this is the that or it was a yeah. vacation, a vacation. <laughs> yeah. No, but it's in Connecticut for a while. Oh, then it goes to Tampa. Okay, that's called that's called retirement. Yeah. Right. All right. Thanks, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> that's a real estate car. I don't know what else to say. That's an estate sale car. That's a dead man's car. Oh my God! Stop, uh, Mr. Ramsey. What have you? Dis- what if you're a real estate um, agent? What are you driving? So to Mr. Jaeger, Jaeger, what? Josh, who? Josh Jaeger, what? What's his name? Josh Jaegerman or Jaegerman? I'm not sure. I think it's Jaeger. Um, all right. Jagerman? I mean, it's Yash. It might be Yash. Yash. It might be. <laughs> Yash uh, to to JJ. Um, I thought this was really a quite a challenging uh, thing because you, it's so different in terms of what you'd want, what part of the country you're in. If you're doing this year round and you need all wheel drive, like you know, you you can't sell million dollar homes on a Pontiac in LA. And nobody needs you need drive. winter tires. What if? What I agree. What if it's a four mile off track snowy off road driveway? <laughs> yeah, if you're if you're selling homes to in North Dakota, like, yeah, like Montana homesteaders in Alaska, yes, you're like, yeah, totally. What if, you're, what if you're selling homes in Budapest? No, what you don't. Weather like? Why would you even say that? I and I, you would you'd I, have I, a I Simca. I, 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 I assume that you lived in Budapest for a while. Oh, Jonathan. Oh, I guess. Well, that's oh, a good town. It, it's Buddha and Pest are great oh, towns. I highly help, recommend yeah. them. So Good I time. went straight down the middle. I mean, I, I went straight down the middle with something that you could get away with because the luxury versus mass market question, even American versus import is huge depending on what part of the country you're in. And so I went something right down the middle that I thought could go either way, almost everywhere. And it is this, a 2019 Mm, Keep Grand Cherokee. It is luxury and mass market. One could argue exactly. American um, rich folks. You can get those. Uh, you can get those signs in the back pretty easily. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> yeah. Next Better to your tools. baby on board sign. Um, back seat is comfortable. Low mileage. Yeah, I think these are great SUVs. I really like the Grand. Yeah, Cherokee. I really like. These. And they, you know, and I, when it, if and when it does break, it's not going to break you. Uh, they're pretty reliable. You know, you make sure you stay on top of it. This one, um, this one's a little murdered out. Yeah, it has they're, the, and they're like, so the man. They don't necessarily ride great. They ride pretty well. I mean, Mercedes. They ride, but but I think also because of yeah, it's the no one sixteen. Be, <laughs> <laughs> because a lot of wealthier people have them. Like it's just one of the things you're like with the Wrangler. It's just a Jeep. This is just what you put up with, and it's okay. Um, this rides a lot better than a Wrangler. Oh no! Of course, of course. <laughs> it's got the Pentastar V6, which I think is 286 horsepower, so it's decently quick. Yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 that's plenty. Of, that's plenty of engine for this car. Yeah, and I don't need to 
I don't need to race off lines. It's leather and claw for people who uh, prefer one or the other. Um, they're still selling this. There's there's a new Grand Cherokee, but they're still selling this old one as a 2022 model, like alongside the new generation. Are they calling it the Grand Cherokee Classic? It's I the WK, so. which is the oh uh, right the WK. Let yeah, WL is a new one. Um, well, they probably have. They're probably doing anything they can. Yeah, they can keep in production. <laughs> WK. Yeah. You know, it gets a uh, 50s gold station for uh, <laughs> your people. Oh, the, wait, previous so that, owner, that, the previous owner Elgar? really died. <laughs> um, but like this, this one's only got 34,000 miles on it. Wow, it's um, expensive though. Well, well, everything's expensive. How too. much yeah. is a new one? A new one is probably the same. A new Grand Cherokee? The no. base? Well, I guess not a co- comparable yeah. one. Yeah. Um, it's still eight speed manual. No, we will. Yeah, it's eight speed automatic. <laughs> they, uh, they messed that up. But it's got like you can sell, you can show up in Los Angeles and West Hollywood to pick someone up. You could also show up right outside my door in Hebron, Kentucky, and yeah. no one's going to say, oh my goodness, check mm, this guy out. You're so it's, right. It's retrofitted with an Alice in eight speed. No, you're absolutely right, Jonathan. No one will ever ask you why you drive this, which is not true That's... of uh, some of the other choices. It's like it's it's impressive enough that it's not like nobody's going to look down on it, but it's not so fancy not... that it's going to be pretentious. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. you're shoving exactly. it down somebody's throat. Yeah, so it's exactly. Completely, it's completely inoffensive, and it's you know it it's a even just personally you know you can go on your own time. You can go anywhere you want to go, tow, haul, do whatever, um, carry stuff. So. <laughs> I thought this would be the... Are the tires mismatched? I think they're Goodyear RSAs, aren't they? Wrangler RSAs. Um, uh, it's fine. That... Can we, uh, do they have yeah, a brake fluid shot here? Yeah, yeah, what year is it? It's pretty new, Pearly. I don't think it's 2019. Well, that's, a, that's a Bridgestone, so I don't know uh, if you saw a Goodyear... But there were t- shots of all the that's tires. Oh, that's a Bridgestone, too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, that reminds me so of... So, brake fluid, I don't know if we get can get a... Can well, it's only feet? three years old or four years old. Brake fluid is probably still decent looking. Yeah. yeah, probably still original. Yeah, there it is. I see it. It's I think it's just that's just a dark container, though. Not it's... don't blame the brake fluid. For that. Oh no, that's that's brake that's fluid. not brake. That's, that's coolant overflow. Cool. You're up here oh. on the right by the. <laughs> Can't believe what right the hell? There. The biggest brake fluid thing I've ever seen. Um, <laughs> so six, six quart capacity <laughs> six, for the the Brimbo six pots you've got all around. Um, this is a good choice. Uh, so, it's very I mean, accurate. I mean, it was the, it was the safest thing for not knowing what kind of. Uh, agent we're talking about but yeah it checks a lot of boxes sure yeah does. checks a lot of boxes all right mr uh, colwell what you got all right so uh yes uh, i agree with almost everything that uh that jonathan was just saying but mm-hmm. uh i i found a a 2018 uh genesis g90 um and uh yeah, I want a car. Uh, I want a car that's going to, because no matter what, I, I shouldn't say no matter what, I would I would imagine that a lot of the time people searching for homes are coming in pairs, right? Coming in, coming in as a couple. Great and parking job. Somebody always <laughs> has to, that's fine. Somebody always has to ride in the backseat. So um, I wanted something with just a massive, comfortable backseat. Mm-hmm. Um, and that is this. These have... Uh, I think cooled seats all around too. Well, Casey, this one also has the controls in the back seat to move the front seat, the front passenger seat forward for even mm-hmm. more. Yeah, like it does. Feature. Yep, it does. And uh, and unlike a, um, a 116, this has navigation. So passengers can kind of be like <laughs> looking along while they're driving through neighborhoods and seeing where they are and seeing street names and stuff. Um, is, this the, is this the V6 or the V8? Yeah, is it the V8? Tur- is the turbo V6? A nice engine. Uh, you know, for, oh, you know, I actually. What do you, what do you need a, to get navigation for? You just have you just use your phone anyhow. Oh, I grabbed the wrong. It's thing. to show everybody, Pearly, like you said, so you okay. you can this navigate the town that you're in. This is the wrong I did, one. I thought uh, there was two. There were two white ones. There's another white one somewhere in Florida. You see, this one only has fourteen thousand miles. I know. Yeah, there's soup. Yeah, fifteen fifteen thousand miles. I found I, there was a sixteen thousand mile one owner car that I was Uh-oh. actually kind of eyeballing, mm. but that's fine. Close, Close enough. enough. Um, but yeah, like, like no, um, 
no issues, no accidents. Um, we had a long-term car, like very similar to this. And yeah. it was really nice on road trips. So comfortable. Yeah. And it's not too, uh, how big is it? As big. Like possible to get a, okay. These are big. Yeah. These are, these are big. Like S-Class? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Big sedan people. I mean, and, and you can get in and out of it easily. Right. Um, it's, uh, and Genesis interiors are very nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And, and it's not, uh, you know, it's not, it's not European. So, you know, in case you do have, um, worries of, of being a little pretentious, um, but it's also not American. It's, also it's good, not, it's not yet. Yeah, and that's true. And, yeah. and, and, uh, I, I talked to Tony offline a little bit about this, but you know, like in, in, um, in Michigan, it's like, you're probably going to want to buy an American car mm. if you're a real estate agent. I think other parts of the country is totally. probably very different. Yeah. Um, Casey, but, since the Genesis winged logo looks like the Bentley logo, do you think that people might confuse your car with the Bentley? Or the Chrysler logo? Uh, I think they're going to confuse it with the Bentley because of that sticker on the windshield. <laughs> oh, that's I, think I think they're going to be confused because they never heard of Genesis. But yeah, uh, I think it's like a generic And, and it brand. says Mary Kay. <laughs> Oh, it does. Is that Genesis. a Mary Kay? Logo? Oh, is it? A, is it a Mary Kay? Logo? Oh no, I, I don't know. But I, that's wow. always what I think of when I see a pink sticker. Um, but yeah, that's uh, this is. I, I mean, I went. Mm. I went maximum maximum luxury uh, for the money. Um, I don't think you can beat it. Definitely they also they also had a V eight. There were some V eights available too, but what's the reliability on these? Oh, another oh. good thing about this: this ten year, hundred thousand mile warranty. Mm. So mm. Um, that will uh, right. That will serve you well for years to come, for another six years, hopefully. Well, the Mercedes has a fifty-year warranty on it. <laughs> what? <laughs> on what? <laughs> All right, Those yellow ready. fog lights. <laughs> you guys ready to see the winner? Yeah. It is not this, although this is sort of an obvious choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What I actually selected is the two thousand nine. Oh, oh God, God. God. No. Tony, why? Oh. That's, that's, that's oh. when you're flying in and he picks you up. Either he says, I'm going to send a car for you to pick you up from the airport to come yeah. meet me at the place. Yeah, this comes the again. Town car. Well, why, yeah, why this, they, is this a livery car? Is this a, is why this... do they select those cars? Because they're comfortable. Oh, but that's not what you want to. That's is not a, what you want okay, You chose a Ford Flex for the Uber. Trip. No, no. They chose that car because, <laughs> because they no longer make a town car and, they need to be, and it needs to be a Lincoln. But I was not selling million dollar Uber rides. If I was, I would have chosen a different this is what, car. This is what picked you. This is what picked you up at the airport a couple of years ago because today nobody would be caught dead. Exactly. Oh no, I just took I just took a a metro car and it. And was, how was it? Uh, Comes an MKT. Uh, it was um, spacious. It was, it was it was it was fine. I mean, it was, exactly. No, it was, was it easy to get in and out of? <laughs> it was. <laughs> was, it, was, was it, I mean. Was Look, if you're selling in Florida, Florida if you're selling in Jupiter, Florida, was it was it repellently ugly? Okay, they, they, yeah, really they're they whale like cephalopodish shape is oh, no cephalopodish. There's today's word. Okay, our coworker Ezra Dyer owns one of these. Or he owned. did. Oh, he got okay. rid of it. And yeah, and Dyer owns owned a lot of things. He replaced it, but he replaced it with a with a vehicle. I thought about also. I thought about oh, picking a minivan. Pacifica, yeah. Okay, and this this. Gets your way. I mean, this is slightly more like a minivan than any of your cars. I have a oh my third goodness. row in case there are kids. I've got captain's chairs in the second row, which are incredibly comfortable. Tons of leg room, just like in the Flex, Jonathan. I've got the 3.5 <laughs> liter um, EcoBoost V6 with 355 horsepower, zero to 60 in 6.1. Should I need to accelerate quickly? Mine's five flat. I was going to say 6.1. You're advertising that. <laughs> That's pretty good for something this big. Oh my goodness! There are how, many miles, how many miles are on this home? How many miles? What do we get? There 20, are plenty 25. of tuners that'll boost the power. How many it miles? Twenty-four thousand six seventy-four. Yeah. And, and exactly. where are you? Hold on. Where are you? Where are you selling homes, Tony? I'm going to sell homes in, in Metro Detroit. I got better. The, 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 you even got better fuel economy than Genesis. Metro Detroit. Oh well, my I'm, goodness, uh, Casey! I can carry more people than you. <laughs> but but you won't be because they're gonna see you pull up <laughs> and say just that's one just one more person. Yeah, I mean this is, this is the average price of a home in Metro Detroit thirty eight thousand nine hundred ninety five dollars. No, not Metro <laughs> Detroit. <laughs> Can you buy a home anywhere in Detroit for that? 
I don't know. It's pearly. He's got. Yeah, that. it's we ain't we ain't no Santa Barbara over here. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great vehicle for the real estate agent. Oh, it's plenty of people. It's powerful. Do you do you it, like this vehicle? It's luxurious. Do you, it, it is not luxurious. He's it's not, hideous. He's not selling it. This is not luxurious. Look it's at that hideous. wood. That's that is barely wood. That's and look are at you that. sure? Are you sure that's wood? Exactly. I mean, and so the, even the leather looks like the plastic. This is not luxurious. I just remember I mean, being on the that press, wood just, looks like it came out of a Xerox. <laughs> I just remember seeing this the first time at the press launch and just going like, "Oh my god!" This is the Lincoln was lost seen. during this phase. They have they have done some really cool stuff since, but they were lost. Okay, I'm not like, going to. Oh my god, I want to put a Yater surfboard on the roof. <laughs> I'm not going to disagree with that entirely, Jonathan. I'm not going to disagree uh-huh. with that entirely, Jonathan. But okay, as as far as a practical vehicle with a ton of back seat space that's comfortable and quiet and reliable and quick. come on. I, but I need to pull up to someone. I need to pull up to the client and be like, they are not going to want to walk away. Mm-hmm. And with this, they're going to be like, who are you looking for? Are you the Uber driver? <laughs> I think yeah. you want the guy. I think you want that guy over there. It's a Lincoln. It's a Lincoln. Yeah. Are those stock wheels? I think so. Yeah. This is the top of the line car. This is the top of the line version. This is the reserve. This is before the they had black label, I think. Well, they never had black label on MKT, I don't think. Yeah. And why would you? <laughs> the, the, the MKT went out, went out of production just like two years ago, right? Yeah. This was three years ago. Yeah. Yeah, 2019 is a late one. Yep. So this is show me that Carfax. Show me that Carfax. A six-speed automatic. There's something you're trying to hide. I'm not hiding anything. Personal Mm. lease, Michigan and Ohio. It's currently it's an off lease. Off lease. Yeah, it's just. I mean, I don't think this is a bad example. I just think that it's. I don't think it's a bad example. It's a fine example of an MKT. A fine example of that. But why would you? It's a terrible. I think. The guy selling it's like I've been selling. I've sold so many houses in this car. <laughs> he's watching right now and going. This is actually he, the the guy passing who on the yeah, juju. It's Jesse's car. Just, 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 I'll buy anything. Just show it to me so I can get out of this car. Yeah, we need to hear what the actual real estate who suggested this what he drives. Oh yeah, well definitely in the comments. I, I want to know in the comments what uh, last month last week we had a lot of people commenting on the cars that they learned how to drive a mm. stick, which was great. Mm. But so this week, I want to hear about cars that your real estate agent drove that you were either <laughs> impressed by or not impressed by. Or if you are a real estate agent, what kind of car you drive? Mm-hmm. I, when, I, when, when we bought our house, our real estate agent had an E39 um, uh, 528i uh, sport package with a manual transmission that was wow. pretty impressive. But then I ended up having it was a long story. But are you sure that wasn't your press car at the time? Yeah, positive. Positive. <laughs> I did not buy a house in the 90s. All right, um, we have come to the part of the show where we judge each other's picks and, and crown a winner. Uh, Mr. Huffman, you went first with a W116, and you're selling houses in Santa Barbara. I mean, I think uh, you just picked it because you wrote that article. Sideways. Anyway, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to go maybe, sideways. Maybe cause, but. Yeah, like I care what you guys think. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> All right, Mr. Huffman, what is your favorite car? What are you picking besides your own to sell to sell some houses? Can't pick that Land Rover. Sorry, that's just too. Uh, it's like it's like it's like buying a bucket and then pulling around. Uh, can't 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 go for the MKT because it's hideous. Uh, the Jeep is just too boring, so I got to go with the uh, I got to go with the the Genesis. The Jeep is just too boring. Oh my! Wow, God. Jeez, he was he, in the early uh, in even the early. even after the thumbs down, I never thought that. Was <laughs> well, I, I go with my heart, not my head. All right, Joey, oh, Freelander. Carlos, please, sorry, the save LR. that clip, please. Save that clip. <laughs> Joey, Land Rover LR2. 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 I mean, it's. The, this is just about the car. It is that car is. Yeah, you were, you, mean, look, your first I mean, instincts when you got into it, Joey, disagree. the first time were correct. <laughs> right, as a child, you realized it was a exactly. Car. But you I knew. think if it is a real estate agent car. It doesn't. No, have to but be I think good. I think as a if you own that as a real estate agent, you would be asking your clients to drive more because it would be it would be because because my car, I'm waiting for my car to. Or can you but drive? I thought we were the the most unreliable vehicles. <laughs> I thought we were trying to pick cars that real estate agents actually would have. No, that's that's one agent who I don't know how many years ago <laughs> this was. <laughs> well, and, and he I was think... successful. <laughs> I picked. Oh, yeah, I, 
the Freelander was an automobile all star. I gotta say that. Ooh. That didn't age well. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's and, and look, and look what ha- look what happened on Blue Bill Magazine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> R.I.P. Oh. All right, Joey, what's your favorite car? What do you what do you uh, kind of sell houses with? I am gonna go with Jonathan's Grand Cherokee because I think it just nails the mission. It's it's not cheap. It's not too expensive. It's very inoffensive. It it just kind of checks all the boxes for what a real estate agent is looking for. So that's, I think he, he, Thank you. <laughs> you kind of he broke, broke up there, but you broke you know, up there. With the summarize with Joe, are, you, are you, are you like, are you like at WeWork, Joe? I'm at Hearst. Is that Hearst? I guess their Wi-Fi is not good. He's at in, the Santa, Monica. in Santa Monica? In Santa Monica? No. In New York. In New, New York. York. Oh, wow. I think right. Jonathan understood the assignment is what I said. Oh, Mr. that's what I thought he said. Jonathan Ramsey. <laughs> I just wanted to hear him say it again. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan, Jeep Grand Cherokee, fantastic choice. Great choice. Oh, my God. They're, just, they're so boring. This guy. Oh, man. <sighs> you should have picked um, the CJ7 for Pearly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> If I chose something interesting, then it's but it's gonna break down all the time. Why would you get that? <laughs> well, I can't. Uh, meanwhile, this guy shows up with a 50-year-old Mercedes <laughs> from Phoenix with was, four yellow fog lights and 10 40, windows. 43, like it drove out of Mercedes. the wire. <laughs> okay. Uh I I mean there's really only one car that a guy like me could choose it isn't my own <laughs> that and i mean i'm i'm only doing this i will say again for the integrity of window shops to, <laughs> to to protect to protect my own position i should not be doing this but i gotta go with the g90 i guess oh. uh, it's i mean <laughs> come on i don't yeah that's it and it, the choice of integrity is what that was <laughs> All right, uh, Mr. Colwell with the G90, solid choice. Pearly, what'd you just do? Did you give it a side? It, it was like a, he was like, it was like a song. <laughs> <laughs> I right, voted for it. it. I already said I picked it. I already picked it, so I have to give it the thumbs up. I know, but that doesn't mean you voted a certain way. You're all over the shop. Yeah. All right. He's like, I'm not even supposed to be here. <laughs> It's my day off. It's like <laughs> clerks. All right, Casey. Um, yeah. So it's it's uh, it's between the um, it's between the the, the uh, wait, was it a Flex or an MKT? MKT? MKT and the Grand Cherokee, and I and I think I got to give it to the Grand Cherokee. Thank you. Um, integrity. Yeah. That's integrity. <laughs> that's what you're saying. <laughs> that, that's how. Well, no, no. I mean, I, uh, uh, I mean, the MKT is just. Um, it's a little too much of a livery car. It's a hearse. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah they they did have a hearse. They did make yeah. They literally <laughs> is a hearse. But you know, this 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 sets up an interesting conundrum here. Tony can't vote for the MKT, which has two votes. So the only thing he can the do MKT is does, with, the uh, where, MKT does. Where have you been, Pearly? Votes. What, what show have you been watching? I don't know. I've, 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 but yes, he is the tiebreaker. He's, he's been watching <laughs> Selling Sunset. <laughs> yeah, that'll destroy. I, I, I don't know. I. I all right, vote. Okay, before I vote, vote on my burgundy velvet MKT <laughs> reserve. I mean, I'm going to give it a sideways because yeah, it's not, it's not terrible, but it's just not. Okay, in- I have three rows, 355 <laughs> horsepower. <laughs> And we, we, hold on. We, and we should also, uh, anyone in the real estate business who's watching this, also say about how many people do you usually carry? Because maybe they're only usually taking the the husband and wife, if it's even that. But I don't think no way, that no way you're taking kids on a first. No, that, I, yeah. when I was a kid, me and my brother went along. Joey went. Yeah, so, the, so, so, yeah. For, I mean, for, for I'm sure it happens. I'm my sure mom, it happens. My mom was but, yeah. calling families all over the place. It was for the first look. For the first look? We went, we look, saw yeah. like several different houses in that Freelander. But I think what I think also Joey is a special case. I think Joey, in the in the dimension he lived in, <laughs> I think that they were they had different rules. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I probably just yeah. asked if I could ride in a Freelander. I know <laughs> see, see, the house see that would make sense. <laughs> so John, here, actually, a quick a quick note: my when my mother bought a house in Phoenix, uh, the realtor showed up in a uh, a Hummer SUT, like the the old school, wow. a yellow one. 
and her name, she was total Scottsdale, uh, very attractive, blonde, older, vanity plate. I'm going to send it back to you, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Jonathan, you've got two votes. Oh, don't don't act like you don't know what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't don't do this. <laughs> the the, the, the audio. Yeah, yes, Tony. I I have two votes. And then the G ninety has two votes, and nobody else has a vote. Right. Okay. It all comes um, down to you. But I mean, the, the Jonathan, the, I got to give it to the Jeep. That's a great choice. The what I like about it is, like you said, you can have that thing in any part of the country. It's a, it's domestic. You're not going to offend anyone. It's luxurious enough. It's comfortable. It requires no explanation. It doesn't quite have the rear leg room of a G90, but okay. Well, <laughs> it also doesn't have three rows, but I'll forgive it. <laughs> That's an excellent Cherokee point, though. Tony. An excellent point. <laughs> All right. Well, that brings us to the end of our 99th episode. Our 100th oh, episode goodness. is next. And Wait, we this was have... episode Wayne Gretzky? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Do we need a giveaway for the hundredth episode? Do we well, need a? I, I, we don't have any ideas for the hundredth episode, so uh... let's put it off a week. <laughs> <laughs> so whenever the hundredth episode airs, we need an idea for it. So please keep uh, keep sending us ideas in the comments, and uh, please like and subscribe. And we will see you all next week. Budget's going to be hundred k. Yes, 100K. <laughs> that's what I need. This, our newest son, was imagined, drawn, carved, stamped, hewn, and forged here in America. It is well made, and it is designed to work. This was once a country where people made things, beautiful things. And so it is again. The new Jeep Grand Cherokee.